video I'm going to show you how to uh, how to change your the way your dimensions are displayed on screen um, we'll do file new here get a fresh start um, by default you can see if I draw we'll just draw a cube out here you can see that um, the dimensions display fairly well at this scale but if we were working on something on a larger scale and we had to zoom out to about here you can see these dimensions get a little harder to read um, what I found is useful is if we go to the options menu and you'll see your dimensions live under your document properties and dimensions is right here if you branch that out uh, Rhino uses the default style. You can change a number of things from your your font style to um, to your your text height. You know the the arrow tips. You can change it to tick marks, dots, um, whatever you whatever you feel is is right for the job. I reckon. And um, what I like to do here when you're working on something of a larger scale is the main thing is to change the text height. Uh, we'll go up to to about three well we'll bump it up to about four uh... we'll change these arrows to dots just to illustrate the change here and down here you can see you, you can change the placement of the text in the dimension i like to do in dimension line um, it makes a break in in the line here and places the text in line with it so uh... so once you make your changes just hit ok and you can see that's a little easier to see uh, with the larger text. Um, also, if you find that you have a text, uh, a dimension style that you use often and you you, you like, um, and you want to save it, what you can do is you go in here to the dimensions menu, and you can just say new, and we'll say dimension style 01. You can name it whatever you want, um, and you can see it adds it here. We'll go in and we'll change the I don't know we'll change it to to some off the wall font here uh, we'll put open arrows and we'll leave the end dimension and we'll we'll make it two millimeter text so now that we have that anything we draw will be using that new text style. So that's that. Um, that is where all your dimension style is pulled from. Uh, a lot of times when you're illustrating the size and scale of an object to someone via email or, or you know, via printout, um, sometimes it's a little hard to get those, those dimensions and annotations to show up how you want. So that is one easy way to, to, to change it. So that's it.